Did you hear that? You know exactly what that means. Let's learn more about Ezra Jack Keats. children how are you how are you i thank you for tuning in today thank you for tuning in today how are you how are you hello my beautiful children and thank you so much for tuning in to another read aloud with miss glam and the Glam Girl Reads channel. I am so happy that you decided to tune in today. And guess what? This is a so, so, so very special day because we are now up to a thousand subscribers. One thousand. Can you count to one thousand? Can you believe it? I'm so excited that there are a thousand families who are tuning in. It just makes me so excited that you decided this channel would be the perfect channel to help you reach your highest reading potential. Today we have another read aloud and another Arthur study. And our Arthur is an Arthur who has 85 children's books. <gasps> Can you believe it? 85 children's books. He's not only an author, but he's also an illustrator. So I'm going to share with you two titles that we have already read. And today we have a brand new title. After that, let's go to our thinking board and learn more about our Arthur. His name is Ezra Jack Keats. The first book that we read with him uh, was A Letter to Amy. Do you remember reading the book A Letter to Amy? <gasps> if not, don't fret because we have it archived right under this video. The second book that we have already read is called Pet Show. Do you remember reading Pet Show with me? If not, don't fret because we have it all archived right under this video. And the book that we're going to be reading today is called Peter's Chair. Now this book is a very interesting book because I think we all have the same experience. Have you ever outgrew something? And once you outgrew it, you usually pass it along to someone, maybe a brother or sister or cousin. Well, this is exactly what Peter is going through. He actually has some things, some furniture that he has to pass along to his baby sister. He is not happy about passing these things along, but he has outgrown them. So we'll have to see what happens at the end of the story and how Peter feels about allowing his sister to have all of this furniture that he outgrew. Did you hear that? You know exactly what that means. Let's learn more about Ezra Jack Keats. Ezra Jack Keats was an award-winning author and illustrator of books for children. He is best known for a book called Snowy Day, about a little boy playing in the snow. Many of Ezra's stories are about a group of friends growing up in the city. The neighborhood they lived in looks just like the streets that Ezra grew up on in Brooklyn, New York. This great American author and illustrator was born in Brooklyn, New York on March 11, 1916. He illustrated jackets for adults and juvenile books and provided drawings for almost a dozen children's books. Peter's Chair by Ezra Jack Keats. Peter stretched as high as he could. There, his tall building was finished. Crash! Down it came. Shh! Called his mother. You'll have to play more quietly. Remember, we have a new baby in the house. Peter looked into his sister Susie's room. His mother was fussing around the cradle. That's my cradle, he thought, and they painted it pink. Hi, Peter, said his father. Would you like to come help paint sister's high chair? It's my high chair, 
whispered Peter. He saw his crib and muttered, My crib is painted pink too? Not far away stood his old chair. They didn't paint that yet, Peter shouted. He picked it up and ran to his room. Let's run away, Willie, he said. He filled a shopping bag with cookies and dog biscuits. We'll take my blue cheer and my toy crocodile and the picture of me when I was a baby. Willie got his bone. He went outside and stood in front of his house. This is a good place, said Peter. He arranged his things very nicely and decided to sit in his chair for a while. But he couldn't fit in his chair. He was too big. His mother came to the window and called, Won't you come back to us, Peter, dear? We have something very special for lunch. Peter and Willie made believe they didn't hear. But Peter got an idea. Soon his mother saw signs that Peter was home. That rascal is hiding behind the curtain, she said happily. She moved the curtain away, but he wasn't there. Here I am, shouted Peter. Peter sat in a grown-up chair. His father sat next to him. Daddy, said Peter, let's paint the little chair pink for Susie. And they did. The end, and when the story's over and when we reach the end, we live happily ever after in the land of make pretend. Bum, bum, bubbly, bump. And when the story's over and when we reach the end, if you think you like this story and you want to read it again, just hit like, subscribe, and right before your eyes, you can watch it over again and again. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I hope that you learned some more information about Ezra Jack Keats. Who's your favorite Arthur? Oh, I think I know that, Arthur. You keep striding along and not only read every day, but get to know some of the Arthurs and some other books that they had because they just might be your inspiration. Maybe you want to grow up and illustrate a book or write a book. So, don't forget, we also have a literature Amy and we also have Pet Show if you would like to read them again. Goodbye to you, we'll see you soon, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye to you and you and you, we hope to see you soon. Goodbye, bye, bye, goodbye, bye, bye, goodbye, bye, bye, goodbye to you, goodbye. Are you ready? So long.